so today we're going to talk about how to recompensate one sensor on the DSP 700 sensors. Over here we already have it jacked up, so I just kind of want to speed this process up for you. So you can see we have the driver's side jacked up. We need to replace a ball joint, and in this situation we'd like to take the tire and wheel out of the way to make that easy. So what we're going to do, we need to take off the sensor. Now we'd go ahead and we'd remove uh, all of our lug nuts, we'd take our wheel off, we'd replace our ball joint, we'd put it on. Now when we go to remount our sensor, we need to recompensate that sensor in order to have accurate numbers. All right, so I've already got it mounted back on, and I kind of want to show you, um, probably should have started with this, I apologize. Uh, if we're looking at what our tow numbers were, before I took it off, my tow number was actually at 0.18, and just from taking the sensor off and mounting it back on, my tow number changed now to 0.26. So I wanna make sure I have an accurate number. So when I recomp it, we should have a number pretty close to 0.18. Pretty confident that's what it was. So the way we recomp it, after we have it mounted, we're gonna press our compensation button two times. So that took our first reading at zero degrees. We're gonna rotate it 120 degrees, and as soon as we do, you're gonna see that center LED light back up. So right now we've gone 120 degrees. We're gonna lock and level it. This is my preference to lock and level it. So now we're gonna to go to 240 degrees, so an additional 120 from where we started. Lock it and level it. Okay, so now we have our three positions. We had zero, 120, and 240. So now our tow numbers, let's see what we got. I'm hoping somewhere pretty close to 0.18. Okay, pretty close. I'm only 300 of a degree difference. So, or 200, so I'm right on that edge right now. So by recomping, it allows me to have considerably more repeatability. If I don't recomp that sensor, and I was to take it off, uh, take the wheel off, replace the ball joint, Put the wheel back on and just throw the sensor back on i'm really gambling with my numbers i want to be as accurate as i can so that would be how you would recomp it uh, press your comp button down two times and then go again at 120 and once again at 240 and you'll be good to go